It has been 1,253 days since Modern Warfare 2019 launched on October 25th, 2019. Even longer if you want to consider the new, air quote, Modern Warfare era since the game was first announced as a soft reboot. 1,401 days to be exact. And while as strange as it is to consider the game is already over three years old, what's it like if we were to return to it today? How's it play? What did it bring to the table from its launch to where we are today? Well, in this one, we're returning to Modern Warfare 2019 over three years later from its launch and taking a look at what it provided some key differences from today and how it is if you jump in today. As we go along, drop your thoughts below. Did you enjoy Modern Warfare 2019? Have you played it recently? Or is it something that's just completely out of sight, out of mind for you? If you enjoyed the video, you'll find it at all insightful or you enjoy this retrospective type content, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all things COD. I'd love to have you in the community. Finally, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage, but more on them in a bit. For now, let's take a trip back in time and return to Modern Warfare 2019 three years later. So before the game even released, regardless of how it turned out and your subjective opinions on the game overall, Modern Warfare 2019 was probably the most anticipated and hyped game of the recent Call of Duty era. I'd say in terms of marketing dollars, it fell only short to this year's Modern Warfare 2, the sequel, but coming off the heels of quite a few missteps in the franchise and a few titles that just many weren't too into, Modern Warfare 2019 hoped to reignite that spark for many players, and I'd say just from the name alone, it did a pretty good job. Modern Warfare 2019 was the first game I remember in recent years where I I had friends that I went to high school with a decade ago, and God do I feel old saying that, that they would hit me up and be like, hey, Jordan, I'm actually pretty excited to play Call of Duty again. After several attempts to start a new IP from Infinity Ward, Ghosts, Infinite Warfare, both falling short of expectations, a reboot was all they really needed, and I think that in a lot of ways it delivered for a lot of players. Now, what's interesting is that Modern Warfare 2019 was the first game that in a lot of senses offered up a ton of key innovations. They tried to reinvent what the Call of Duty experience meant, and while we say that now in the wake of Modern Warfare Two, it more so was a top-down level and something to level the playing field for all players, bringing players together rather than changing core fundamental mechanics of Call of Duty, though they did do that in some capacity as well. But on a top level, it introduced us to things like crossplay. Modern Warfare 2019 was the first game where crossplay was around in the Call of Duty franchise, and at the time it seemed kind of crazy to consider because usually Call of Duty was behind the eight ball anymore and paving the way for the industry, and many games were already implementing crossplay or had it at the time for quite a while. But they finally had done it and Thinking back, COD without crossplay actually now seems pretty wild. It's so nice to not have to worry about what platform my friends are on if they want to play, and sure, you may find a cheater from time to time as a result, but I'd still rather deal with that than not be able to play with my friends at all just because they have a PlayStation, I have a PC, or they have an Xbox, I have a PlayStation, something like that. But by creating the Activision account system, we had crossplay, and it was a way for everyone to come together. I think a big win and a net positive for the franchise as a whole. But with crossplay also came cross progression, meaning that your Activision account could end up saving all of your progress through your account and then through the cloud, and you could pick it up on any platform and specific device you wanted. So, for example, I play on PC, but I could take that account and log into it on PlayStation, and nothing would be different. Everything would be exactly the same, save for if I had a few PlayStation exclusive items. But overall, again, another net positive that I think made access in the game a little bit easier. We also saw free DLC introduced for the very first time within Modern Warfare 2019, and and as strange as it is to consider that right now there is some negative connotation to it, the argument is pretty valid, I will say, where some people think free DLC means we won't get the quantity or quality as a paid DLC pack, but it was done in the name of bringing players together. With paid DLC packs, you inherently had this experience that would split the player base even further. You had different modes already splitting players, but whenever you had maps that players could not access if they did not buy it, versus those that could, well then that created a secondary fork in the road for players. And before Modern Warfare 2019, it got pretty bad. The Black Ops Pass was an all-or-nothing type thing where your matchmaking after the first DLC drop was entirely skewed for the entirety of the season because if one person didn't get one map pack, they wouldn't have any of them. You couldn't buy individual packs like you could in the past in Black Ops 4. So offering players everything all at once, no time delays or anything like that, it brought players together in the sense of not splitting that player base even further. We also saw the removal of supply drops as a big thing within Modern Warfare 2019, though of course, yes, the opposite end of the spectrum was that we ended up getting like $20 bundles with season one of Modern Warfare 2019 and beyond, but it was something that players were now no longer gambling or pushed towards gambling for items that they wanted. We also saw within Modern Warfare 2019 the structured seasonal model where Black Ops 4 introduced events, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, and World War 2 all had seasonal events, not necessarily like structured themed events for the game itself, but more so in line with seasonal events real world. But Modern Warfare 2019 introduced seasons, new timed windows of themed content with a battle pass system that was 
is kind of new. Its format was new, but Black Ops 4 is the first time we saw a battle pass system within Call of Duty, but introducing free weapons alongside it, other things like COD points that you could end up earning in that, as well as a handful of other things. It was a different setup overall. And finally, one of the last big innovations I thought that Modern Warfare 2019 brought to the table that was pretty good was Ground War. It was an interesting take on multiplayer and large-scale combat, upwards of 32v32, whether or not it was direct competition for Battlefield, who at the time was dealing with Battlefield 5 in a lukewarm reception to that game, whether they're trying to inherently bring players over from that franchise into Call of Duty, or it was just a precursor to what we would see later on as Warzone, Plunder, and Battle Royale. It could be any number of those things or all of them all together, but it was a way for a larger scale combat to truly be introduced to the Call of Duty franchise. Now, the gameplay feel itself was something that if you look back and think about Modern Warfare 2019, that's probably one of the big selling points and one of the first things you even think about. Movement, it was incredibly fluid. To me, that's the biggest difference between Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 2019. There honestly is some stuff that I do like about Modern Warfare 2, but the movement itself in Modern Warfare 2 feels so clunky by comparison. From ADS to general sprint speeds and assuming disinterest in allowing for more uses of tactical sprint, Modern Warfare 2 just feels like your operator has cinder blocks on their feet. Slide canceling aside, playing Modern Warfare 2019 again and reviewing footage, it just felt like you were lighter on your feet all around. You had the ability to maneuver a little bit quicker, you had the ability to jump into tax sprint a little bit faster, and it just felt like you were more fluid in that movement. Whereas again, it feels like it's clunkier, everything just feels slowed down for the sense of slowing it down in Modern Warfare 2. Gunplay, aside from the incredibly fast TTK that Infinity Ward absolutely loves, gunplay felt and still feels great in Modern Warfare 2019 in my opinion. There's clean animation, recoil that rewards players for knowing spray patterns, gunplay feels incredibly smooth in all aspects, reloads, everything about it, it just felt very nice. Animations going along with that, it again just looked incredibly clean, a lot more quick on some animations, calling in streaks, obviously much faster than that of if you were in Modern Warfare 2. Field upgrades, you don't have that dead silence pullout where you have to pull out a tablet to end up going into that, you just simply activate it. There's a lot of things that sped up the gameplay itself, which looking back, if you were to say that in Modern Warfare 2019's main year of support, it would have been considered crazy because for a lot of stuff, it actually felt like slower and more tactical of a pacing, something that players, myself included, thought encouraged camping a little bit further. But looking back, Modern Warfare 2019 just feels like a much faster game compared to Modern Warfare 2 in a lot of aspects. Not everything, but in a lot of aspects. Another awesome part about Modern Warfare 2019 and the gameplay was the audio. And that's something that I need to put an asterisk on because while audio was incredibly sketchy at points during the year, the underlying tech was honestly pretty remarkable in a vacuum state. It's still one of the coolest pieces of a presentation that I feel like I've had the privilege of seeing was that when myself and a few other creators back in May of 2019 were at Infinity Ward to learn more about the game before it was revealed, we ended up getting a presentation from some of the audio engineers where they completely broke down the audio engine. Specifically on Piccadilly, I remember, they showcased the various levels of layered audio, revealing them one by one, listening to how shell casings would ping off the ground as they hit, how the audio would be muffled, echo, or any number of effects that you could think of when you shot in the air versus in the subway tunnels versus in shops or the bookstore. So while at times, especially in the way of like audio occlusion, hearing things through different buildings, levels of elevation, environments like dirt and all that kind of stuff, while it was something that that was sometimes far from perfect, the underlying tech was really cool, I thought. So Modern Warfare 2019 introduced a lot in terms of the gameplay state, a lot in terms of gameplay innovation, but how are lobbies today if you were to go back and check it out? The biggest thing from Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold War, if you guys remember, and from what I remember, was skill-based matchmaking. In its prime, it was, it was rough, to say the least. Like, you'd have some games where you felt like you were fighting for your life and it was a COD Champs qualifier or something like that. There were games where it just was not a fun game, but others, it could be something where it was a very enjoyable experience. However, with a decrease in the population and player count as years have passed, perhaps changing depending on when you jump in in general in terms of like around what time of day, but also considering more people are going back to Warzone 1 and even Modern Warfare 2019's MP as of recently, lobbies may fluctuate in experience. But historically speaking, from my experience, they haven't been too bad, especially by comparison to that main year of support. I played a ton of Modern Warfare 2019 and Vanguard's year, probably more than Vanguard itself, and it was worlds easier than I remembered back then, and the same goes for nowadays. While you'll still match up with some sweats who maybe never left the game, you'll also find far more games where it doesn't feel like skill-based matchmaking is out to get you or anything like that. So it's a very enjoyable experience, again, to just go back even just for a couple of games, to relive a little bit of that experience if it's not necessarily something where Modern Warfare 2 is your cup of tea. It is something that you can still play around with. Unfortunately, 
the ranking systems and everything are disconnected. Modern Warfare 2019 through Vanguard is all connected, but Modern Warfare 2, of course, is an entirely different system. You don't get any progress by playing now and grinding out Modern Warfare 2019 for your Modern Warfare 2 battle pass or anything like that. But it is still something that if you want to go back and play, it is fun. Now, beyond that, I'd be remiss to mention Modern Warfare 2019 and talk about some of the core fundamentals of innovation, gameplay, and everything like that, and then not mention campaigns. So while it's something that it might be an afterthought when you look back in the experience you had for an entire year of Modern Warfare 2019, chances are you weren't playing campaign for 12 months straight. But the campaign, honestly, I love that campaign. Very few COD campaigns have disappointed me. The one that has, looking at you, Vanguard, progressing the story only in two missions in a six-hour campaign, but in a reboot where you had a lot of pressure to not detract from the original trilogy, I thought they handled it pretty well. I thought that it was a story that was compelling and really made you feel connected to 141 and the characters that we had. Also, I'll be the one to say it. I'm not sure if it's a hot take or not. Barry Sloan, to me, is Captain Price. Billy Murray obviously is forever the original and his voice is straight up iconic, but in terms of build, physical portrayal, and the way that he can carry himself to be Price, I think that Barry Sloan crushes it. It's like Heath Ledger wasn't the first Joker, but to many, he is the Joker, if that makes sense in a comparison to COD. So three years later, Modern Warfare 2019, I definitely still think holds up. It's still a lot of fun. Was it flawed? Absolutely. There were a ton of things that were flawed. No lappable streaks, dead silence as only a field upgrade, no perk, weapon balancing at times, maps that were less than ideal, skill-based matchmaking, a shop that was like $20 a bundle for items you may want. There's plenty of things that we could say, but in reality, when it comes to a sheer gameplay experience, going back and enjoying it for what it is, it's not a half bad time. But that said, that is where we're at. That is Modern Warfare 2019, three years later. So let me know your thoughts down below. Have you guys gone back to Modern Warfare 2019 anytime recently? Have you guys thought about going back? Or again, is it just out of sight, out of mind for you? What are the case? Feel free to let me know. Before we wrap everything up, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage, the best blue light glasses on the market, if you ask me. Most comfortable, lightweight, and durable frames out there. They are a bit more expensive than the generic pair you'll find on Amazon, but having used these guys and used just about every generic pair on Amazon you could find by comparison, I would absolutely say that quality is reflective of that price increase. So if you guys would like to learn more a little about the science, the clinical studies behind everything, links in the description below. They can do such a phenomenal job explaining it more than I can. So if you guys would like to learn more, check the link in the description below. And if you guys want to pick something up for yourself, use code ESPRESSO to get 10% off your entire order. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Modern Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.